It's time to talk business and the new developments that could be coming to your community. John Joyce joins us in the studio this morning to get us caught up on the latest news. First, let's start with the big jobs announcement. We hope is coming. Another company looking to set up shop at the Greensboro Randolph mega site. Well, right now, all indications are Mahindra Automotive, which is an Indian automotive company with their U.S. operations based in Michigan. They're going to vie for a contract with U.S. Postal Service to build a new fleet for them. If they get it, they're probably going to go to a manufacturing site in Flint, Michigan. However, on the list of other sites included, the Triad Randolph mega site and some of the other mega sites here in North Carolina are options. So a lot of things have to happen for that potential to come to fruition for them to actually come to North Carolina. But if they do get the contract with USPS, but don't get the contract at that site in Flint, Michigan, we might still be in the running. How would that benefit us getting that? Well, initially, you're looking at about 1,000 jobs to start, and then over a 10-year period, up to 4,500 jobs, not to mention all the supplemental machining and other manufacturing um, components that could factor into that supply, logistics, all of that stuff, which is really what the mega sites are all about. But right now, it's really hush-hush because, like I said, they're probably going to go to Flint, so there's probably some kind of background organization preparation having to take place. Just if that doesn't work out, then at the last minute, North Carolina could say, hey, we have these packages, we have the resources, we have the workforce, come give us a look. Anything through the grapevine of potentially anything else or any other company looking toward that mega site? Right now, everything's kind of hush-hush because these type of deals, you have to have, uh, I think it's um, a little bit of discretion early on until all the contracts are signed. So for right now, if anything is in negotiations, they usually use code names. So it's really hard to figure that stuff out. and Nobody's talking until the ink is dry. Okay, I guess we'll wait to find out. So let's now talk about commercial real estate. A big firm with ties to Charlotte and Raleigh just mm -hmm. invested in the triad. Nova Capital Investments, like you said, they have offices in Charlotte and Raleigh, but they did just make their first purchase here in the Triad. It's a big one. It's $30 million, 379,000 square feet combined over three different properties, Air Park West, West Friendly Office Park, and uh, Deep River Corporate Center. Hard to memorize all of those. <laughs> but they're all mixed-use um, commercial real um office and flex space, sorry. Okay. So we're looking at hundreds of thousands of square feet at each site, they were all built back in the 80s. And so when we talked to Nova, they, what they told us was that this was exactly the type of property they wanted for this type of long-term investment. And it just happened to be the right price at the right time. Okay, and lastly, really quickly, we're, we wanna talk about a new Sprouts grocery store bringing life to a new Triad Shopping Center. Right, Shopping Center is at the corner of Battleground and West Ridge Road here in Greensboro. It's owned by Branch Properties. There's a Sprouts grocers there. It's, pretty much organic stuff. You might find some name brands there, but there's also a couple of restaurants coming, a cookout, and Iora Medical Facility coming. It's a 6,700 square foot primary care facility. It's gonna come here in September, and then two more vacancies, 215,000 square feet are still left available, hopefully filled within the next 30 days, and as soon as we find out who's going there, we'll let you know. All right, John, thank you so much for joining us, and you can keep up with the latest business news by visiting triadbusinessjournal.com.